2022 due to the the price of oil, natural gas, and other energy sources rose sharply, followed by the prices of raw materials of bulk basic chemicals, leading to the considerable decline in the operating profits of chemical companies. However, pesticide prices in China experienced a fall instead of an increasing. Coming down from last year's overall high level, this is mainly because of the agrochemical industry in 2022 was still in a recovery phase from impact of energy and consumption control in 2021. And the agrochemical capacity construction period since 2017 has ended and the production capacity gradually recovered. In addition, after the unusual procurement and hoarding during the past two years, inventories foreign markets needed to be drew down and the demand weak and dispatch coupled with the reduction of market speculation helped drive prices back down to the regional range. According to Sino Agri Living, one of the largest agricultural plant farms in China, the 2022, the price of over 50% of pesticide varieties fell year on year, with an overall decline of 20% to 30% with some products slacking by 50%. The price of terminal formulations of non-selective herbicides kept hitting new lows, resulting in sufficient support for technicals. At the end of the year, the prices of terminal formulations introduced by manufacturers hit record lows. Forcing down the price of glufosinate ammonium technical, this is also the inevitable result of the gradual release of glufosinate ammonium technical production capacity. Eventually, the price of glufosinate ammonium technical plunged by 56% in 2022, the largest drop for technical products during this year. Other herbicide varieties with a price drops of over 30% include Putaclor Technical, Pretilaclor Technical, Glyphosate Technical, Mesotroin Technical, and Nicosaccharin Technical. Only several herbicide varieties experienced price rises, including Propisoclor Technical, Metolacro technical, trifluorine technical, and the pandemethylene technical. In terms of insecticides, with the gradual rise in production capacity, the prices of nicotic products re decreased accordingly. The market for ibamectin benzoate was greatly impacted by the expiration of the patent of the of Chlorotronyl Pro technical. The rise in the production capacity of fluoroneurone technical and the made technical led to a high inventory level. Products with a price decrease of over 30% include Axitamiprate technical, Imidacroprate technical, Bifanazate technical, Ibamectin benzoate technical. Clonical made technical, defensory technical, loop neuron technical, abamatin technical, and the lambda cephalosary technical. Proper guide technical as an old product because of its relatively concentrated production capacity, highly up steam raw material price, and the low inventories of technical and the formulations, it became a rare insecticide variety with rising prices this year. In terms of fungicides, there was weak demand for triazole products 
and a considerable reduction in raw material cost. Turbocona Low Technical experienced a price slump by 46% year on year. Strawberry Louis Technical enjoyed a relatively concentrated production capacity and a stable export channels. However, the fungicide market was generally weak, which resulted in the lack of willingness among leaders to increase stock levels and drive upstream technical manufacturers to lower the price products. This a price drop of over 30% includes Turbo Technical. The mass of technical prop programs technical. Triflos strobing technical, azox strobing technical, and fluor xenam technical. Only cell fluor technical saw a slight rise at 3%.